Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Praise the Lord to everybody this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for another day that he allowed us to see for another chance to be given us this opportunity to come to before him in Jesus' name. But we know that the truly because of him we are here today. Without him we cannot make it. Without him we will be lost. But because he is a loving God, he is a caring God, he cared enough for us that he died and he rose again that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. To him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power in Jesus' name. We give honor this morning to our pastor, Ever Craig Martin Drake, in Jesus' name, to uh, First Lady Sharon Martin, in Jesus' name, to Mother Martin, to all of the Muslim Jefferson, in Jesus' name, to all the mothers that are not here in Jesus' name, to, to Ella Jefferson, to Lady Jefferson, to all the people of God that is in the building today and those that are on the way here. We just want to say we thank you for coming out this morning to this house of praise and worship. We may worship God in spirit and in truth and give him what is due unto him. He said, if I, if I, the son of man, be lifted up from the earth, that I will draw all men unto me in Jesus' name. So we thank God and as we prepare to start our own worship, we're going to call to worship this time in Jesus' name. We have all that can stand and stand as we call to worship. We will have an opening selection. Jefferson family, 
the Taylor family, LaShonda Martin King, who's awake in the kidney, Chandrea Mason, Latrice Johnson and family, Jonathan Pilgrim, Tini Heshbeth, Bertha Hargrove, Katrina Mitchell, Travis Williamson family, Gloria A. Boom, Alexis Nicholson, Camry Gumby, Gladys Somerville and granddaughter, Bishop Maurice and First Lady Deborah Carter, Dewan Anderson, Jerome Davis, Chandretta Whitaker, and pray for the peace of Israel. These are the names that we have written here on our prayer list families. In Jesus' name, remember them as we go before the Lord in prayer that God will continue to have his way in their lives. You know, we know God is able to do anything but fail in Jesus' name. He said, I will be near you, even in your mouth in Jesus' name. As we pray for them, pray that they will have enough confidence, enough character, enough belief to just themselves to open their mouth and Lord, have mercy upon me in Jesus' name. Remember our seniors, Mother Minion Martin, Mother Margaret Nicholson. Brother Ernest and Mother Mary Tabor, Mother Helena Coley and Ethel and Mother Woodley, Brother and Mother Richardson in Jesus' name. Remember our elders, because we know that they are up in age and they sometimes they don't move as fast as they used to do, but thanks be to God that He always causes them to triumph. And the reason why I know that is because I can look at some of their faces and see that they're still in the land of the living. So that tells me God has smiled on them. One more time in Jesus' name. But we thank God for that. And we know God will do exceedingly and abundantly for all that we can ask in Jesus' name. Then he went a little bit farther and said that we can thank it. Anybody in here thank it? If you can thank it, if anybody here can just think, just think of the goodness of the Lord. That Lord, you are able to do anything. There's nothing that is impossible for you. If you can think about it, God can do it in Jesus' name. Why are you thinking that Lord? Why I'm thinking? Lord, let it be in your will. Let it be in the way that you want it to be. That we all may get the, that we all may get exactly what we need, and that He get the glory out of every situation in Jesus' name. And we will have our prayer song, and we'll go before the Lord in prayer. Thy name is a strong tower. 
We know that the righteous run into it and it's saved this morning. So, Lord, right now, we thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We say that you are our God. You are our peace. You are our all in all. We just want to say, Lord, without you, we cannot make it. Without you, we'd be lost. And we just give you what is due unto you. We ask you, as we prepare, Lord, that we sing your song to Zion, as we clap our hands, and as we read your word, Lord, we ask you to prepare our hearts and our minds that we may, Lord, receive your word that you have from on high this morning, Lord. Touch each and every one that is in this building that's under the sign of my voice right now. Let your word, Lord, find a place in our hearts right now, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, right now to hear your word. And help us, Lord, right now, Lord, to go and do the things that we need to do that you may be pleased in our actions, in our ways, and in our doing right now, Lord. Look on every name and family that was called out in our prayer list, Lord. You know what they have need of even before we ask, but you said ask and they shall be given. You said seek and we shall find, Lord. Help them right now, Lord. Give them this day their daily bread. I am really watch over them, Lord. Continue, Lord, to keep them, Lord. Keep them as they do the things they have to do, Lord. Look on their caretakers, Lord. Look on, Lord, the children, Lord, that come by from time to time. Just to check on them, Lord. Give them, Lord, strength to do the thing that they have to do. We ask you as we go out, Lord, in Jesus' name, as we go by our weeks to do the things that we have to do. Keep us, Lord, from, Lord, the, Lord, the spots that the world tried to put on us. Lord, help us, Lord, to walk worthy of the vocation for what we were called. Bless your people right now, Lord, here and all over the land. Look on those that are about to join in us on Facebook this morning. Let your word go across the airways, Lord. Bless them as they hear this morning. Look on our pastor as he brings forth your word, Lord. Let your word come forth with clarity that we may understand, and Lord, that we may live thereby. Bless everyone that is preparing to drink it this morning, and we'll give you the glory, we'll give you the honor, we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Psalms chapter 96, verses 1 through 13. You have to say amen. amen. When we begin to read at the first verse, and it reads, Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be 
glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful for all say good morning and praise the Lord to everybody. Amen. 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 We count it an honor and a privilege to be in the Lord's house on the Lord's day. For this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. We do honor to him from whom all of us Life flows yeah. to Amen, Mother Mark. Be with us here this morning to Minister Nicholson, to Brother Jefferson, and to all of our mothers. Amen. To saints of the Most High God, it is a blessing, it's an honor, and a privilege to be in the Lord's house on today. We look about and see. For the Lord has brought us from truly, truly we can say the Lord has been good to us. He has been so good. And that her of Doctor said, put him came to. They 
said, uh, uh, Mr. Lynch, we lost you for a while. We came back and, and, and uh, he said, but you was talking, but there was no life in you. Yeah. 
everybody. Amen. We thank God for your gifts and for your spirit of liberality and for your blessing and supporting this ministry this morning in the name of the Lord. Amen. This time before we move forward into our message, we thank God for our first time visitors that are with us today. The persons of, uh, I believe that's James Mabry. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Brother Mabry. Amen. To the story. Back to me. 
and then a question, and then that came to my mind was, are you woke? Are you woke? Man, we live today in a society where, amen, there seems to be an awakening, an awakening. Some people call it a revolution. Amen. Some people call, amen, it a movement. Amen. But considering where we are politically and socially, economically and racially in our country, amen, that is an awakening going on. There is an awakening going on. And as we look here in the scripture in Romans chapter, Number 13, we find a writer here, Paul, that the Romans was also living in a, in, in a vastly changing society. In a society where, amen, the political agenda didn't always favor those who, amen, walked in faith. Not always, amen, that the church was somewhat under persecution, somewhat under the rest, amen, and there was a question as what our position, what our posture should be in light of the authorities and the rulers and those who were in political power at that time, amen. And, and, and Paul came to the conclusion, amen, that now, we must be peacemakers. <laughs> we must be peace, peacemakers. Amen. Uh, I think Jesus himself said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for amen. They are the children of God. I mean, it, 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 it. And so Paul simply said, Let every soul be subject to the higher power. For there is no power. But of God, and that the powers that be are ordained to God. I didn't always understand this. I didn't always really agree with it. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a bold jump for a preacher to say he needs to agree with the Word of God. But sometimes we all find places in the Word of God that, 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 that don't fit us. And we would love to change it, but amen. No, we can't change it. The Bible says that if we change the word of God, we shall be reproved and found a lie. Then it further says that no liars don't enter in, but every liar shall have their part in the lake of fire. So the truth is the truth. Uh, somebody said the truth is the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Amen. Amen. How you walk on me this morning? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't go to sleep yet. I mean, just get started. Amen. So Paul simply says that we ought to be subject to the powers that be for all powers uh, ordained of God. That there be no power except, amen, the power of God. Amen. And he says, whosoever resisted the power, Resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive of themselves damnation. Boy, it's getting tougher. <laughs> the more I read it, the more uncomfortable it makes me. Amen. But then when I got to the third verse, I started to understand a little bit more. I started to. Amen. Understand the intent of Paul. What he was trying to get across to us. And then as we study the word of God, and study not only the word of God as we read it, but in the context in which it is written. Amen. And in the age, in the day, in the time that it was written, we, we, we find that Rome at that time was, amen, one of the most, amen, politically Settled, amen, places on earth because of the power of the Roman Empire. It, it, the rest of the world was a zoo. 
That's what woke means today. Amen. The death of a uh, man, a uh, 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 flood, woke up a whole lot of people. To police to tell. People who wanted to deny. People who wanted to say it didn't exist. People who wanted to say, well, the police just doing their job. But it's no policeman's job to live on somebody's neck for nine and a half minutes. Y'all, we better wake up. It's no policeman's job to shoot somebody in the car with their children because they're reaching in the glove compartment to get the registration that he asked for. Amen. These, these things happen and occur. There is no policeman that has the right to, amen, bust into somebody's apartment at 2 a.m. in the morning and start shooting, looking for somebody that's not even there. Hallelujah. Are you woke? Ah, you woke. So we have to find a way to put the scripture in context so we can understand what our position ought to be today as children of God. Verse 3 gave me a little bit more understanding. Verse 3 says, For rulers are not a terror to good works. Can I say that again? For rulers are not a terror to good works. If you're going about your business doing good, those that are in authority shouldn't, and then you shouldn't have to be afraid of them. I don't care what color your skin is. You're going about your business, trying to get to work, and man, I get home after working, sucking shift, and one o'clock in the morning, you shouldn't be afraid that a man, somebody with a blue light on, going to, amen, mistake you for somebody else and blow your brains out because of the color of your skin. That's terrifying. Yeah. Amen. That, amen. The rulers are not to be a terror to good works, but to evil. But if you do an evil, man, I'm not going on the street and march every time, amen, a drug dealer gets shot. Y'all might look at me and say, wait a minute, Rob. Preacher, I thought you was woke. It's time for us as a community to get woke and realize the drug dealer killing our children. And then the drug dealer is the one that's making our young folk and then we'd rather work for them than to go get a job. We're not saying shoot them in the back and, and then don't give them justice. Amen. But sometimes... We put ourselves in the position, amen, because of our evil, huh? And our illegal activities. But even in the commission of a crime, huh? All crimes don't have a life sentence. Some crimes will do to lock you up for a few days. That's why they got the courts. That's why they have juries. Amen. But when they mind the police become the judge, jury, and executioner, that is a terror to good works. But it says that if we do good, we will receive what? Praise from the same folk that we complaining about and talking about defunding. Amen. Why? Amen. Because they are the ministers of God. To thee for good. Are y'all with me still on the church? Amen. Uh, every policeman ain't a bad guy. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. And when we say defund the police, if you're not woke, you might misunderstand that. Amen. Defund the police don't mean you put them out of business. What it means is you take some of that money that they're getting for stuff they are about to have, like tanks, <laughs> military gear, huh? Amen. But sometimes they use them against protesters. Huh? And take that some of that money and put it toward social work, mental illness. Send somebody out to a 
domestic, amen, situation, amen, don't need an AR-15. Hmm? They might need a calm voice and an understanding of heart. And I know you just ain't excited, but I want to know if you won't. Are you won't? Man, so he said, they don't matter so in their vain, and we must needs be subjected to them for the wrath of God and even for our conscience. We live in a world today where people don't even have conscience. Amen. It's for this cause, he said, amen, defund them. Pick a ye trick. Yo, who do you think your taxes? Oh. If somebody break into your house and rob you and you call 911, you don't need a social worker. You need somebody who hope they pack. We do not lie on one another. 
we don't covet one another's possessions. I don't want your wife. I got my own. I don't want your car. I'll take my old car. Amen. And you keep your new car. Amen. If I want a car, God will give me a car. I don't have to be jealous of yours. We don't covet one another. Oh, I'm getting to it. I'm, I'm getting to it. Give, give me a few more minutes. Give me, I know my time is not up early, but I'm asking for about 15 extra minutes. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't covet. And if there be any other commandment, Huh? It is briefly comprehended or understood in this saying, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Are you woke? Huh? Are you woke? You can go all in the political and the social issues. You can go to every march for black Live matter, black or white, it don't matter what color you are, and then being woke, and then not only being aware of your environment, being woke really means being aware of what God has called us to do and to be. Uh, if there's any commandment that's left out, it is briefly understood or comprehended in this saying, Thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. For love worketh no evil. Man, I'm preaching that. I'm glad I ain't got the hat to preach. I ain't glad I ain't got to put my hand on my ear and moan. Love worketh no evil. Read the Corinthians. If you want to fulfill the law of God, learn how to get the love of God in your heart. My Bible tells me that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. No Holy Ghost, no love. You can fake it, amen. You can try it, amen. But if God don't fill you with the Spirit, there ain't nothing like the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten. That whosoever believes on him should not perish. Love will give you everlasting life. Uh, love will make you live forever. Mm. Oh, working no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Am I preaching this morning, Mother? Oh, I know I am. Hallelujah. And that knowing the time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Being woke, being, you mean knowing what time it is.
dedicate your life to Black Lives Matter and forget you got a church at home. Huh? You got a church in your community that got to deal with other issues. Huh? Single parent home, good. Drug dealers. Huh? Poverty. Unemployment. Counties with no businesses. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No manufacturers. Amen. The church ought to be woke, amen, to understand that these issues are the ones that people are grappling with every day. And somebody got to give them a hope. Because if it's only in this life that we have hope, all your hope depends huh, on whether this bill get ratified for voting rights. You're miserable. Hmm? All your hope depends on whether or not Congress passed the Floyd Policing Act. You're going to be miserable. Oh, have mercy. This thing is about salvation. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Amen. Amen. We walk in all those other areas, but don't sit in church nodding. You get excited about everything except hearing a word from the Lord. You get excited about everything about other than dealing with the sin issues that are in your life. You get excited about everything but dealing with your alcoholism. Your opioid addiction. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. And then you're creeping into somebody else's house while they at work. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. That's what's gonna kill you. That's what's gonna cause you to open up your eyes in hell one day. Not that you didn't get a chance to vote. get a chance to vote, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Because if they tell me I need an ID to vote, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get me an ID because I'm going to vote. Whether you agree with who I vote for or not, that's my right to vote. And then I'm going to let the powers that be know that I don't like it when you pass laws that restrict my people from voting. That's my right. That's my right. But guess what else I got a right to do? I got a right to live for God. I got, and not only do I have a right, I have a responsibility to walk worthy of the vocation for which I am called. It is God that has called us unto holiness. Don't y'all know with every right? comes a responsibility. Hmm? With every covenant that God amen, enters in, Jesus, amen, it has a condition huh? that must be met by the covenant part. Any y'all in covenant relationship with God? I don't know about you, I'm washing the blood of Jesus. Yeah. I am born with a cross. And I got to be woke, huh? I got to be woke, amen. I can't spend all my time worried about political issues. But my job is to go into the hedges and the highways and compel men and women to come before. It's too late. The day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Wake up, church. For the, amen, the day is far spent and the night is at hand. It's high time that we cast off the works of darkness. Jesus. Devil don't care how much we go to church. We say in church, a lot 
I don't want to know. Amen. Fornicate. Oh. Practice drunkenness. Uh -huh. Shack up. Everything but get married. Y'all ain't gonna have that. Amen. Fathers, amen. Amen. Create children that they don't want to be. Have no intention of being. Grandmama feed. Papa raising somebody's children who's just as woke as they can be. They woke. They go to our little monsters. Amen. They wear all the gear. Lie, lie, lie. Hmm? No justice, no peace. Woke.
they need to be woke, it's an insult. This week they tried to insult General Milley. And General, amen, Austin, huh? talking about it, the military woke. They thought that was going to be an insult to him. Thank you, thank you. And the military said, I want to be woke. I want to know what critical race theory is. Amen. When 40% of my military is black. If there is any injustice or racism, we want to root it out. Y'all ain't going to me. Amen. If there is, amen, any prejudice, we want to let it go. And you know what? Let's be known that this country is still full of prejudice. Sunday morning from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. You in here listening to somebody preach about what? Somebody else sitting in their church talking about they trying to take over our country. Let me tell y'all something. Until God's church get on the same page, we all got some waking up. To uh, until we realize with God there is no respect of person. We all got some waking up to do. When we everybody realize that just because you go to a sanctified church don't mean huh? you got it all together. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Some folks think just because they go to a holy church and, you know, God will overlook their foolishness. Let me tell you something. The Bible said that everyone that named the name of Christ do what? Depart. Depart from iniquity. Y'all catch me doing wrong? No. Don't say, well, he's a good guy. He do a lot of good. Tell me on the show. It's a pastor. And you know. Said you know the word. Huh? Don't y'all know the word applies to everybody equally? From the doorkeeper up to the porch. And everybody God is shaking all of us. God is waking all of us up. Amen. We sit there in church during this pandemic. You know, folks that used to go to church a year and a half ago got both shots. Down that Logan, Ruby Tooth, all by full of them. Ain't wearing no mask either. No, ain't going back to church.
Take your word. 